Hello everyone, I am Catechus Gaming, and today we will be continuing the guided walkthrough for Breath of Fire. Last episode, we explored a desert crypt to convince a thief to join our team. This episode, we will be doing a little backtracking to steal some loot, then save the mayor's daughter who's trapped in the Aria vault. Now sit back and grab some snacks as we quietly dive in. As you can see, leading our party is our new character, Karn, who, luckily, is going to give us our best option for a honey-do list, which is to go on a major crime spree to all our previous areas. First thing we're going to want to do is have Nina warp us over to Winland. Because if you do recall, in the basement of the castle is a locked treasure room that we couldn't open. Oh, look at this place. The memories. Our team was so small, so young. So if we make our way back to the castle, and the staircase to the basement is in the back right. And I'm sure since we, you know, saved the king's life, he's not going to miss these items. Not at all. And honestly, there are no repercussions for this. It's just what you do. See, these guards, not even going to care. Not a care in the world. And let's see what our prize is. We got a broken sword, a life, a turban, life two, a flame rapier, and a cure. All great stuff. Now, to quickly get to the world map, we could just cross the bridge. And then our next thing we're going to want to do is have Nina warp us over to Romero. There's nothing in Romero for us, but... There are a few items we can pick up from the floating dungeon Agua. So we're going to want to switch Bow into the lead. Oh, you brave little slimes. Now remember, to enter Agua, you have to have the item tablet in your inventory. So what we're going to want to do here in Agua is, for the most part, go to the top. Which it sounds like it's going to be a frustratingly daunting task, but it's not that bad. And somehow, Bo got a level up. I'm dumbfounded by that. Now, if you were smart, not like me, 
who out of habit went the long way, you could have just opened this locked door and went straight up these stairs. Which we're gonna do like this, so we don't have to do any of the fl platform puzzles anymore. Thank God. Just keep opening the doors and walking on up. And on the fifth floor here, if we go to the left, Once we open that gate, for some reason there's a little platform there, and we get to go outside for a little bit. This is a weird dungeon. And here, we can pick up a flame shield. Now this platform will take us back to the other side so we can exit, but there's also this mysterious staircase that leads us up to a dragon shrine? Okay, what's going on up here? Oh, there's a bunch of machines for keys. Interesting. So this currently looks way above our pay grade, and that's because it is. Considering there's all these machines for keys, this must have something to do with the lock for the goddess tier. So let's not be farting around with any of that stuff now. So we're gonna head back before we, you know, screw everything up, continue our way out of this dungeon. Now ignoring the temple at the top of the building, we will come back one more time when we're able to punch down walls for the last bit of treasure. And now that we're outside, we're gonna have Nina warp us over to Arya. Because now it's time to free the girl from the vault. But be careful of that guard up there. Don't want him to get you. So let's go see how somebody locks themselves in a vault. You want the light key? Father wants to give it to the dark dragons. My mother was alive. She would have told him to do the right thing. Oh, so this is a protest. Okay. It seems like we're going to have some fighting coming up, so let's check out that gear that we swindled. Let's see, we got a turban. Turban's terrible. But a flame shield? Holy cow, a flame shield is super awesome. We also have a flame rapier. So we're going to give that to Nina, her first weapon upgrade. <laughs> 
I think, yeah, we'll give the flame shield to Karn. He's a bit squishy. Anything for Bo? Nope, because he can't use a shield. And then we have a broken sword, which is really good. But we want the rank so we can hit more than one person. And honestly, our inventory is just terribly managed, so I'm going to swap some stuff around quick. Shell hat we're going to keep, but most of this stuff we're actually going to sell. Somehow we brought the crypt with us with the book in it. Awesome. Now it's a bit confusing where to go at this point, because it just tells you, hey, if the mayor could talk to his dead wife, things wouldn't be so terrible. However, that's not much to go off of. So before we go investigate how to let the living talk to the dead, we're going to sell all of this useless junk. We're going to hold on to that. And we're going to get rich doing it. to have all these items to sell back when we needed 65 grand. We're almost back there. Build our own house out of gold bricks. Just want to move this broken sword up here. Perfect. Now, to progress the story, what we're going to want to do is head to Bleak. And outside of Bleak is a mysterious tower. But instead of warping there, I want to walk through this dungeon again, because there are a couple of spots where we can get some more loot. So if we open this little backdoor passage, we can loop around to the north end and open another locked door. And possibly get another level, who knows? So continue up north at the fork so you get to the very top. And in this weird little alcove will be our goal. If for some reason we could stop getting into a fight. Holy cow. Get a dart from this chest, which is another weapon for Karn, and it'll raise him up to 90 attack power, which is pretty good. And 
And that's all we can get on the basement level here. We've opened all the chests. But there's one chest we can open on the first floor. Now to do that, we're going to want to take the staircase that would lead us to Bleak, like we were going through it. We don't want the Aria side staircase. When we go up here, Follow it east to a fork. This game really likes to just send one enemy at a time. Now, at this intersection, go north. And the first area we get to will have a locked door. Galdarn Fly scored a critical hit. Totally unfair. <laughs> Apparently we've gone from bullas to midgets to nothing but flies now. this last chest a free gold bar now, I want to be very clear do not sell this gold bar as much as you want to we still need another gold bar for the darn story trust me Oh, well, what can you do? Now that we're on the bleak side, we're able to enter this tower, and in addition to be able to reunite the mayor with his dead wife for a moment, we're going to solve the eternal darkness plaguing this area. Now this dungeon is called the Tower of Light and Dark. And we have to have Karn to even be able to enter it. So over on the right here is a chest with two grand. And fleas of all things. Expecting a little something a little more dangerous than this. Now if we continue up the stairs, we'll be able to talk to a random old man. If you're the legendary hero, I'll give you my treasure. Climb the tower to meet the ghosts and prove your worth. Yeah, not very helpful. So his treasure is the item we need to help the mayor out, so we don't really have a choice. Oh, great. A stronger version of the midget. A chopper. Yep, 
Yeah, he's got a lot more health. Can't even kill him in one turn. Ow. Ryu has one hit point. That kind of sucked. So if we go up the stairs next to the old man, we'll end in a bit of a pickle here. If we want treasure, we're going to want to take the left-hand staircase. This will take us to a bolt stone and a life. With those out of the way, we can go up the right-hand staircase. Follow that around the south wall to another one. Yeah, it's a bit weird of a dungeon, not gonna lie. So if we go up the staircase straight above it, we'll enter this weird little room with a life too, and another staircase down to grab the chest that we couldn't get before. An herb, a cure, and a horn hat. Now the horny hat, we're going to want to give to somebody with not a lot of health. Uh, not a lot of defense. So let's give that to Bo, because that raises him up to 120. Now we gotta do a bit of backtracking. And go south and wrap around to the next staircase. Now be careful with this enemy. He can do an earthquake spell and damage everyone like the Iki. Luckily he didn't. Now if we go up here, we gotta go, we're forced to go left and wrap around to the south. Oh, hello, gold slime. I mean, money maker. We actually have two options for stairs. Don't take the first one. Instead, go in the second set. And follow this path to the top. Instead of leading us to the... to the boss, it's going to lead us to two treasures containing a turban and two grain. That's all the treasure chests for this dungeon. Now we just gotta backtrack and take that first staircase. And conveniently, the one just to the right of it. Now before you interact with the pillar, because that's a boss fight, we're going to want to switch Ryu to the broken sword to raise his attack power. If you're going to use him to do actual attacks, you can just leave him with the Rang and have him just do dragon attacks, which I highly recommend. It used to be that only dragons could enter here. Okay, old man. But since the light key was stolen, things have changed. Let's fight. So this is another ghost type en enemy called the Cloud. And like normal, we're gonna start with Karn attacking, Nina Iki, Bo Fry, and Ryu is going to turn into the Thunder Dragon. You could 
wait with Ryu until he got severely injured. Because when he transforms, he gets a full heal. But we're just gonna go guns a blazing. For some reason, he really doesn't like Ryu. And as you can probably tell from fighting this boss and the bosses in the previous episode, because Ryu can turn into dragons now, bosses are going to have a lot more health to compensate. But so far, it's not that bad. I mean, he's almost half dead already. <laughs> and for some reason, only targeting Ryu. I swear, my copy of the game is weird. But, I mean, if he wants to attack the toughest character I have, go for it. already down to the red. This is going easier than I was actually hoping. And this turn should end it. Gonna give Ryu a little bit of a heal. Just try to top him off. Oh, he has a hurt everyone spell, too. Luckily, he wasn't throwing that the whole fight. And there we go. Beat him. With level up for Karn. Good work. Please take this key. Find the light key to complete the pair. And with that, we have another goddess key. And as you notice, the whole room got brighter. This is because only the dark key was present, which meant that the reason the whole bleak area was in eternal darkness was there was no light key. They only had a dark key. Pop that down there. Now, frustratingly enough, we have to, again, walk out of the dungeon. At this point, you're going to want to go left and follow the path north. Once down these stairs, you're going to want to take the first set of stairs down. Then wrap around to the stairs just north of that. And then down the middle set of stairs to get out. But before you leave, Make sure to talk to the old man. Well done. 
You are a true hero. Please take this with my thanks. And we receive the second key item from this tower, the mirror. This is the item we need to show the uh, mayor of Aria so he can talk to his dead wife. Oh good, some gold slimes. I was worried I wouldn't have to fight you anymore. Ow! They killed Ryu. Alright! Awesome! Great! Just have to bring him back. may be tough, but they're worth it. Now if we head down these stairs, we can finally get out of this place. Now one thing I want to show you outside. See how it's daytime? The light key and dark key, they can be used as items in the world map, and they'll actually turn it from daytime to nighttime. So now that we have the dark key, anytime it's daytime, we can just hold it up, boom, nighttime. Doesn't really have too much of a use, and later we'll get an item that'll do the same thing, but it's only one item instead of two. I don't know, it's just kind of fun at this point. So for now, let's teleport over to Aria. And get a save. Yeah, I got a mildly interesting story for you, old man. Now that we obtained the mirror and the dark key, this looks like a good time to stop. This has been part 10 of our Breath of Fire guided walkthrough. Stay tuned for the next episode as we help the Aria Mayor and get us a boat. Remember to like, comment, subscribe as it'll help the channel grow. Thanks.